like mowing grass. You'd mow them down, and four more would be in their places. Every time the sergeant yelled fire, I got sicker and sicker. World War I showed Americans the best and worst that the country is capable of. We're still ironing out everything that war unleashed. This was a period of deep paranoia. You became a public enemy if you refused support of the war. It's probably the greatest suppression of free speech the country has ever seen. For Wilson, it's embarrassing that these protests were happening. These are women who are resilient, who will not give up. They're the radical voice. African-American troops were seen as a problem. If you give him a gun and tell him to fight with it, it's one short step for him thinking that he should fight for his rights at home. Even with all of that prejudice, they volunteered in very high numbers. I'm glad to be going. If you are in this thing at all, it is best to be into the limit. And they felt a personal responsibility for humanity. U.S. troops were audacious and brave. They assaulted things head on often. The Germans had been fed the lie that the Americans can't fight, so they weren't really prepared for this. America was unique in the war because it was not fighting for survival. It was fighting for an idea. Forced Americans to ask, what are we as a country? Who are we as a people? The war for democracy was really about defining what it meant to be an American.